Hello, my name is Eddie Toffby. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. I'd like to offer you some foreign exchange charts today. And the first one I'd like to look at is the euro against the dollar. On this chart, we have a third bearish black crow and another black marabozo yesterday as the market follows on from the recent big countering bearish opening black marabozo. This time the market dropped down and closed within the old gap, 108.20 to 107.77. I've taken it upon myself to readjust the recent diamond pattern once more, even though I really don't wish, wish to do that. I'm on the verge of retiring a whole pattern and looking for inspiration elsewhere. Today we're steady. The market is bracketed within the old gap so far. Finally, I've written and spoken quite a lot about this diamond pattern I've seen over recent weeks. I also warned that we're coming to the cusp of this pattern. And as such, I'd also cautioned about possible false breakouts. We've now had false breakouts in both directions. So the pressure is still on the downside. The next chart to look at is cable, aka sterling against the US dollar. Here, an interesting bearish closing black marabozo yesterday. The drop and close were right on the uptrend, currently at 123.45, what had been a quite nice developing and secure looking bullish ascending triangle based on this late March today uptrend. Today, we've punched down through this uptrend and halted the big 50% Fibonacci line for March at 123.04 going back a bit. This ascending triangle was in the final phase of development as it had touched both sides twice so far. So today's dip below the uptrend can indicate one of two things. Firstly, being so far advanced along this triangle, you would expect there to be false breaks. And this is one, and overall the pattern is still secure. Secondly, this is instead a proper break of the pattern, and we have the possibility of a double top formed over April and early May. Right now, my cautious nature suggests wait and see, as it is more likely to be the former. But I'll wait for closes to confirm. The next chart to look at is Euro against Sterling. A countering bullish white soldier yesterday that basically told us nothing new. We still have below the very significant combined support on a closing basis of the non-moving average, currently 87.14, and the March to date head and shoulders neckline currently 87.09. Today the market is sitting once again on top of these with overhead the very short term downtrend currently at 87.99 which led to the construction of a recent sideways pennant. This is not secure so watch carefully. I've mentioned my idea over the past few weeks of a March based sharp double top action with an initial target X on the downside in 86 and a half area. I'm still debating with myself as to whether the recent lower 86.69 counts as being within the 86 and a half area. On another point, the move up two weeks ago may be perhaps, just perhaps, the second shoulder in a head and shoulders top with a split head formed since the start of March, hence the neckline we've been testing. More on this should it choose to develop. The next chart to look at is the US dollar against the Indian rupee. A bullish closing white marabozo yesterday that was based on the recent halt and congestion around the very recent 50% of the Nitro line at 75.68. This situation still ties in with the idea I mentioned last week that the action from March today is increasingly looking like an inverted ascending scallop pattern. The recent move up, a little down, and then hesitation would tie in with such a development. The final chart to look at is the US dollar against the Brazilian real. Second bullish white soldier yesterday, but more importantly, it was a bullish opening long white marabozo that was a follow on to the previous session's gap filling bullish piercing line pattern. Prices yet again closed over the broken lower time, currently at 555.41, and below the middle time, currently at 575.80, of the recent March to April based bullish Andrews pitchfork. I continue to have suspicion about this market. I am not sure quite why, other than my decades of seeing such markets, but I suspect that there may be even more volatile action possible. Watch this one carefully. So, in the meantime, be safe in the markets and in real life, and good trading.